If you're wondering if the M4 iPad Pro can actually serve as your main computer, I can tell you that after 17 months of use, it absolutely can. A lot of people want to make the switch, and while there is a bit of a learning curve, if you dive into it and give yourself enough time, you're actually going to really enjoy the change. And if you're using your iPad for work, you might actually start enjoying your job even more. It's going to give you a refreshed view on how to get work done in 2025. It will definitely give you a modern feel. And you're going to turn some heads at the office, I promise. Hey everyone, Tech Dad here, and I've been using my M4 iPad Pro as my main computer since the day it launched, and I absolutely love it, and it has completely changed the way I work. People in the office can't believe it when they see me with my iPad. I'm taking handwritten notes on it. I'm presenting wirelessly with it. I'm using creative apps to get work done and lead my team members, instead of always using lame PowerPoints and spreadsheets. Half the time, I don't even use the equipment in my cubicle. Everyone else is hooked up to their little monitors, and they're just clicking away on their keyboards and mice and I'm sitting in my cube with my feet up on the desk with my iPad in my lap and just swiping and zooming and writing away with Apple Pencil. I use dictation or I use Apple Intelligence to write my emails for me. It's actually pretty awesome and it's improved my workflow. So in this video I want to give you a full rundown of my experience using the M4 iPad Pro for the last 17 months and if you're looking to make the change and convert over to using the iPad Pro as your main computer I want to give you a three solid steps that will help you make this conversion so you can actually start using your iPad for all the things and ditch that Mac. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so step number one to ditching that Mac and going all iPad is to actually ditch the keyboard. Well, that seems insane, Tech Dad. I mean, you have to have a keyboard and mouse to get real work done, right? Uh, do you? So after using my iPad Pro for 17 months, I noticed that a lot of my frustrations were coming from using the keyboard and mouse. Not that it's a bad accessory, and I definitely would recommend that you have one on hand, but the iPad was designed in mind to be a touch-first device. And that means Apple designed the hardware, the op operating system and all the developers designed the apps to be a touch first experience, which means everything works best when you're using that touch display. I've noticed this in Microsoft Office, for example. When I try to use the trackpad and keyboard and use the iPad like it's a computer, sometimes things just don't work right. It just isn't as fluid. The mouse pointer just doesn't grab things quite as well as it would on a computer. But if you use the touch display and the touch controls, everything's actually a lot easier to manipulate and control. And that's because Microsoft designed that PowerPoint app to work with touch first. And concerning just inputting text these days, there's a whole lot more ways to do that than just a keyboard. You can use dictation, for example, or you can use AI to write up a body of text. So I use the Notes app all the time, and I use Apple Intelligence along with it to write up my text for me. ChatGPT is integrated really well now, and you don't have to think about writing up your own giant email or report or whatever. You can just have ChatGPT do it for you and then clean up that text. I've also got the habit of using Scribble a lot. And so Scribble is the feature where you can write pretty much in any text field with the Apple Pencil and it will convert it to text for you. I find myself doing this in Microsoft Teams a lot. So if I need to send a quick message, I don't want to put the iPad down on the desk and then start typing. I just want to stay in the position I'm in. With Scribble, you can do that. You can just scribble out a quick message. It turns your handwritten scribbles into text. It's actually pretty convenient. I also use this in Final Cut Pro if I just want a quick title. I don't sit the iPad down and type it out. I just scribble it out and the iPad gets what I'm trying to say. It's pretty cool. Speaking of video editing in Final Cut Pro, I actually used to use the keyboard and trackpad when I first started editing videos. Well, now I realize it's a whole lot easier to use the touch controls. So Apple Pencil gives you a lot of precision that you need when you're editing video, and you can pinch and zoom to get the exact point of the clip that you want. It's just really easy to use the touch controls and Apple Pencil when you're editing video on the iPad. A whole lot better than a mouse and keyboard. So if you're trying to use your iPad for work, try using those touch controls above a keyboard keyboard and mouse, you might find things are a lot less buggy and just a lot easier to do. All right, step number two for converting over to iPad as your main computer. Learn the new features of iPadOS 26. iPadOS 26 has delivered incredible features for iPad now, and you can really do a whole lot more on your iPad with these new controls. The windowing is my favorite new feature of iPadOS 26. And again, using the touch controls can be a lot more fluid sometimes than trying to use a trackpad. Opening 
multiple apps is easy to do. Just open an app and then resize it. Want another app open? Tap an app on your dock and it will open that window and you can resize it. Your other window will be behind it. Then you can manipulate and move your windows around. You can flick them to each side of the screen so you can do some side-by-side -side work. This is also great for a drag and drop setup. So if you need to drag an image over to a PowerPoint, you can absolutely do that. It's very easy. Do you want to open a second instance of an app like the Notes app? Use that new menu bar. Pull down that menu bar, select Window, and open new window. If you get a whole bunch of windows open and you want to see them all, just use four fingers, press up, and use Expose View. It's really fluid, simple, easy to use, and clearly was designed for touch controls. And make sure you use those new stoplight buttons. Those are really fun and helpful. With those new stoplight buttons, you can make a window full screen, or you can press and hold and get lots of options to open your windows the way you want. iPad OS 26 is a game changer for iPad and doing real work on it. I've got lots of content available. You can check that out. I've got general overviews, file management, menu bar stuff, all kinds of great content. Okay, step number three to converting over to iPad. Be bold enough to be different. So like I said, everyone at work uses PCs. They sit at their desk. They type up their PowerPoints and their big spreadsheets. But just because everybody is doing that doesn't mean that is effective. Just because everybody makes a PowerPoint to present doesn't mean PowerPoint is effective. So using the iPad has helped me be more innovative at work and more engaging. So I'm a project manager and have to engage people in work and they have to pay attention to me. Well, I ditched the whole PowerPoint thing and I started using other apps like Freeform, which is a good whiteboard app. And so I can design a project schedule. I can draw this thing by hand, but I can also add in sticky notes. And since I project wirelessly using AirPlay, I can pass the iPad around and let other team members add to this project schedule, make their own sticky notes and contribute and be engaged. So if you convert to iPad and you do it well, you're really going to change the way you work and you might start to enjoy using technology more. And you might inspire others at your job to think about technology and work in general differently. One thing I've noticed about using my iPad Pro is that work is now more fun. I'm actually more engaged in my work because I'm doing it differently and it makes me think about how to deliver work in a better way. You don't have to use PowerPoint and Excel only to get things done. So not only will your iPad Pro be your ultimate consumption device where you're reading books and watching Netflix and gaming and doing all those fun things, but it can actually become your main computer where you're doing all your work and productivity on it, and it's really fun. All right, that's how I've been using my iPad Pro for the last 17 months. I'm really excited because M5 should be coming out. We should see the M5 iPad Pro release sometime in October if the rumors are true, and you better believe I'm going to be upgrading to it. I might go with the 11 inch this time. I'll probably put out some content on the M5 iPad Pro before it launches. We got to talk about it a little bit. All right, that's all I got for you. If you like this sort of content, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.